Welcome, everyone, to the general gaming channel known as M12 Warthog Game. Hey guys, M12 here. I'm back with the video. Not really gonna focus on objective or do something like I would with strategy guide or just a gameplay video. This is more of an update video if you want to where I do talking about stuff with my channel and whatnot. This isn't going to be focused on gameplay or anything. I'm just playing some Halo Reach Firefight Elite Apocalypse. Which I'm going to see if I can, like, um, post this, like, to some sort of place where you can actually get this game mode if you want. Or I could just show you what, um, what I did for this one. But it's pretty simple, all elites. But, uh, I, like, randomized it and whatnot, so... This is on Halo Reach, if any of you are curious, but to get to what I wanted to talk about. Um, so, recently, in a few days, I've had trouble um, trying to record um, a multiplayer um, or skirmish mode of uh, UEF. And I was going to do tips and strategies there. I was also going to show you what you would do if you were in this situation in multiplayer and whatnot. Like, like some of the things didn't render and record... Well, like, it didn't, the files got corrupted after I, like, tried to process, after my recording software tried to process it and export it as an MP4 file and whatnot. And all of this problems and whatnot, so, that was the thing. So, aside from that, I just wanted to, um, let you know that, um, for... Um, maps that I do on Risk Factions will try to be all in one video. If I go, like, over, like, say, an hour, I'll probably split it up. But I don't think I've ever done that, in, like, except for multiplayer game modes. Because, like me, unless you... Because some people like to take more time with their decisions, and that's fine. They can do that. I'm not judging or anything like that. They just want to be more meticulous about what they do, and I just start focusing on what the enemy does when it's not my turn. In preparation for what I should do in my turn, which is why I don't usually like to get up or pause the game when I'm playing Risk Factions or like some sort of thing on, um, or any sort of thing on, uh, it's been a while because I can't, you know, it's been a while when you forget how to throw a grenade on Halo, um, reach. Okay, but back to what I was saying, um, like, it's kind of hard to set down the game when I'm playing, like, um, Supreme Commander 2 or something like that for a strategy guide. Now, I am planning on doing, like, shorter videos, maybe 20, like, like, try and keep it under 20, which I've been trying to do. But maybe lower that to maybe, like, 10 minutes, and then do them in 10-minute increments, but there'd be, like, 3 to 5 videos, maybe, per level, maybe more. But that's for the sole purpose of, like, showing you what phase during this battle... I'm in, like, having it more, like, phase-based. Like, the first phase, set up your base, show you how to do that for the mission and whatnot, then do it for any of the other parts of the phase, and then, like, this is the next phase, preparation, pre preparing your army, how to do that, um, what to know for this phase and whatnot, and cover all of that, but in different stages. That way, if you're having... That way, if you have a base setup that's different from mine that you like, you just want to know how to prepare your army, then I have that option available as well. Like, instead of you having to sift through the whole video, because these are more inf informal videos about strategy and stuff, and I toss in a few facts here and there of stuff I know about military history, because it was actually my favorite subject in high school to take. I didn't like school that much, but... The only, s except for the parts where I learned about history and whatnot, so. Yeah, okay. Aside from that, um, if you want to see, um, if you have any feedback or suggestions regarding this stuff, it's always appreciated if you take the time to leave a common question or feedback for me in the comment section down below as well. Don't forget that, because that's also appreciated. Um... I also want to talk to you guys about my upload schedule. I'm I'm going to be honest, I don't have the best of the internet, so uploading every day is not something I'm going to want to do. Plus, when I record, I'm only going to do it when I'm motivated, but when I do like stuff like um, 
you know, like the Supreme Commander 2, it's going to be like all one video. Like, I'm all going to do it in one recording session. And I'll, when I'm motivated, but then I'll like record anything I like. Any footage you see is done while I'm motivated or in the mood to record, but um, I'll edit the videos and upload them like when I can. So getting daily videos is not necessarily going to be a thing for right now because of our current state with our internet not being the best, but it's the probably the only ones we could afford that are decent for our area as internet's not just about what you're paying for, but can the provider supply a decent internet to this place? Speaking of which, I just got disconnected from Xbox Live. Doesn't really matter to me at the moment, but uh, I'm completely fine with how things are going. I don't actually hate it, it's just that um, it's not our internet's okay. It's good for people who want to watch YouTube videos. I know I watch a lot of them. People were, I think I remember a while ago, someone asked what kind of music I listen to and whatnot. And I'm like, most of the stuff I listen to or watch is on YouTube, so you can just check out my subscriptions. I don't hide that stuff. I know some people do because it says I have more subscribers than what it shows me, and if people don't want to make their subscriber thing public, that's completely fine with them as well. But, um, on the note of this, uh... I just want to say, uh, thank you guys for those of you who stuck around and just left any nice comments for me. Comment section down below, take the time to watch my videos and whatnot, uh, and so forth. I also want to say, especially for those of you who watched my Risk Faction videos, I want to thank you guys because someone left, uh, I think, I can't remember who at the moment. I know I take the time to read all of your comments, but I may not have the time to reply to them. Or what you say is more of a statement or something that I can't, like, really relate to or reply to. But, um... What I do know, though, is that, um, just yesterday, I played, um, a five-player match on Risk Factions on the world map. Now, you guys have already seen me do the world map as a strategy guide, but, um... What happened was, is that, that was my 1,000th game, and it's been a fun playing the game, and I'm still going to keep doing that, showing you all the maps and whatnot, and what to do on them, but I reached 1,000 victories, and that's like a goal that I thought I would never be able to get to, because I had some difficulties in the beginning playing this game, like, on multiplayer. But you want to know what? I managed to pull through every single time and find something that I could get my enemy, get my enemies back and get victories. And I'm trying not to brag here, but um, it, it really means a lot to me that any of you guys would watch my videos and do stuff like that. I mean, I'm not really expecting much out of this. This is more or less something I like to do, talking about the strategies and strategical know-how of, um, certain maps and games on, um, video games and whatnot and so forth. Oh my god. This just reminds me of the one thing I hate with Halo Reach, is that when you get shot, it makes you stand up, even though that you're crouching, like... I don't know how bolt going forward makes you go up, like... It didn't... It doesn't work like that. But I guess somehow it does. I can... I suck at sniping. I'm going to assassinate this elite now. Now, another thing is that I want to talk about was the game mode. I I usually like to be generous and show you guys what I'm what game modes I'm making if I make custom ones or whatnot. So for this one, I'm gonna end game and show you that as well. Game over. Um for those of you curious, it's pretty much um 
I know there's, like, some achievements where you have to survive a set amount of time on, like, the legendary difficulty for firefights and whatnot. I just set it to, you can set this to, like, infinite waves or infinite, like, I don't know what the thing is. It's been such a long time since I've played. But, uh, I'm gonna close this. And you pretty much make yourself invincible with the options, put all skulls on, you get more stuff. And all that stuff, so, you have to be connected either... Oh. Oh yeah, and that's talking about the disconnection from Xbox Live earlier. But, anyway guys, um, yeah, just add all skulls on. I set this to all elites, game type. I think... I have it in my file share. I do not know. I cannot check as I'm not connected to Xbox Live. Don't forget, guys, if you have questions... I, I always appreciate your comments and feedback, but if you have specific questions, just send them to me at my gamer tag on Xbox Live or on my Zerg ID, which will be in the description below, or on the comments of any video that you watch. Um, I'm thinking about maybe later doing a Q&A. If you just want to ask me questions, feel free to do so. Um, so forth. Um, I'll try to make my best out of it because I'm going to have to like read them, and I would if I, like, if you send them to me, I would have to have two things open, and I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but, um, I'm gonna find a way, because I've never done a Q&A before. I'm still learning on how to make all the new movies and whatnot and all that stuff, but, um, yeah. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, I already said the comment thing, but that's how I liked in my videos. Anyway, bye-bye.